So I've been having some issues confessing or saying anything that's confessional worthy because I feel like there's, I always draw a mental blank whenever I have to sit in front of the spotlight and come up with something interesting to talk about. <laughs> Best confessional ever. <laughs> See, this is why I can't do confessional. <laughs> I'm out of here. So today I decided to just stand at this angle because I think I look really good in this top. <laughs> you could listen to me say something totally mind-blowing or super intellectual or whatnot, or you could just enjoy this. I think this is way better. <laughs> Maybe next week I'll have some words for you. I don't know. <laughs> I know that wall moved. Oh my god. Hi. Okay, wait, I need to bring a chair. Okay, I said I, I said I would make this short and sweet. So um hi y'all. How are you? First, let me show y'all my new sunglasses. Like these are prescribed. Like I spent real big girl dollars on these. You know? You know? Anyways, um, hope y'all are doing good. Fall is approaching and you know, like fall is amazing and then winter comes and ruins it, but it's okay because we have the capitalism of Christmas to distract us. So yeah, it's that time of year again. Coffees are gonna be eight dollars. I'm so excited. But yeah, um, above all, I have a fucking fashion show coming up, so that's also really swaggy. So yeah, I'm excited. So bye, y'all. Love you. I'm gonna go glue down this hair. Naked news. I will never be lost for stories to tell you so long as I'm living here in crazy, crazy New York City. I was running errands today, making my way off the Harlem River Drive on the off ramp, trying to turn down Fifth Ave and make my way back to Hell's Kitchen where I live. I have all the windows down and the music blasting. I'm feeling good. It's a good Monday, getting shit done. A man approaches my vehicle. He's beginning to start cleaning the windshield. He looks rough, he looks scabby, he looks disgruntled. As he's wiping the dirty rags across the windshield, I start saying to him, no, 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 please no, 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 I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything for you, I don't have any cash. He proceeds not to walk away, but instead to walk closer and he puts both arms up on my open window. And I have no idea what to expect at this point. My God, I can't start getting the window up fast enough. He leans in, looks me dead in the eye, and hawks a massive gob of his own spit onto my face, my chest, dripping down into my clothes. This is New York City. I will never again judge a person's hydration level. I will never again assume a person's hydration level based solely on their appearance. Because that was a hot, wet, large gob. And I drove away staring at myself in the rearview mirror reached for the antiseptic wet ones wipes and I gave myself an entire rub down in that good clinical clean smell and I laughed thinking my god if that ain't a New York fucking story.